Hello everyone, Skids here and today I wanted to talk about Fallout 4 Season Pass. This is a topic I wanted to talk about for a while now, but I did not have time to talk about it yet. Now, first thing you should know is that I am not the Bethesda hater. I do like their games and their way of making things, but I just think they made a mistake with this Season Pass. And today I wanted to talk to you about reasons why I do not agree with it and also about some of my ideas on how can they change it and make it better. Anyway, if you were not living under a rock for the last couple of weeks, or if you still check out news that come out about Fallout 4, then I'm sure you noticed that Bethesda decided to increase season pass price from $30 to $50. Like I said in the beginning, I currently do not agree with this Bethesda new policy, and I'm not going to buy season pass at full price, or I might not buy it at all if the DLCs do not interest me. Another thing you guys should be aware of is that I do not agree with most of season passes, since they usually don't offer enough content for their price. So if you wanted to list companies like EA that do worse things than Bethesda, then I can assure you that I do not agree with their policy at all and I'm now a bit disappointed with Bethesda. Now at the beginning, if I am correct, Bethesda never stated what they actually wanted to include in this season pass when they first announced it. Only thing we knew was its price and that was basically it. Considering last two games in Fallout franchise, I expected DLCs like Fallout 3 and New Vegas had, basically big expansions with a new map to explore, adding tons of hours of gameplay into the game. I searched on the internet and found out that each of the four major DLCs for Fall New Vegas had a price tag of $10, which is a total of $40 if you buy them separately, which I think was a fair price for the amount of content they had and I would have no problem paying full price for them. So when I heard about Fallout 4 Season Pass, I was sure that Bethesda would deliver like they did with Fallout 3 and New Vegas, since they also stated that Season Pass would be worth at least $40. That I have to admit sounds like a fair deal. Now. They decide to increase its price by $20 because they will be creating more content than they expected and this is a thing that pissed me off. I mean why would you announce a season pass promising new content when you don't even know what you're going to include in that season pass and then just sell it. I mean they could have waited until they finished the game to announce it and not just try to guess its possible price and hope that they would have enough content for it. Of course the exact opposite thing happened and now they have too much content for $30 or you could also say for $40 since they say it would be worth 40 and so they're increasing its price at the beginning of March. Now I have to give Bethesda some credit for letting people know they will up the price and allowing them to buy it for 30 bucks until March that also caused season pass to be actually a best seller on Steam for a few days. I mean that could also have been a good tactic as well, uh, just tell people you're gonna double the price for something but let them buy it at a cheaper price before you do it. I also have a feeling that Bethesda hopes we will just gamble and buy it because if they are selling it for $50 later it will surely have a lot more content than this $30 version which actually may be true or it also may not. I just hope that other companies don't adapt this technique if it is successful. I mean I can just see EA selling DLCs for $40 and doubling their price without any problems. Now let's move on to the DLCs themselves which at the moment are my number one reason for not buying season pass. So the first two DLCs Automatron and Wasteland Workshop, I mean they are basically mods that you have to pay for and were created by Bethesda. To be honest I think that Bethesda did not release creation kit yet so they could sell small DLCs like this one because once it is out people are gonna create some crazy things for free and they are creating some awesome stuff even now without the creation kit itself. Wasteland Workshop basically adds tons of new stuff for you to use in settlement system that can be also done with hundreds of mods that do the same thing and I do wonder how this animal taming thing will work. Uh, it sounds kind of interesting but I'm not sure if it is really worth five dollars. The next DLC Automatron sounds more interesting but if there is no questline involved and you only get to build different types of robots that I hope will use a new system instead of the settlement building one and also some additional new enemies then I personally don't think it is worth 10 bucks but that is just my opinion and I will give Bethesda a chance because so far they delivered what they promised so I hope they will do that with the DLCs as well. Now the last DLC Far Harbor sounds good and it has an awesome premise but I'm not so sure about the price tag of $25 when you buy it separately. Witcher 3 for example had an expansion pack Hearts of Stone that I played at least for 15 hours and it only cost me $10 and that is a lot of content for only that much. Of course if Far Harbor has at least 20 hours of content or is similar to any of the previous Fallout DLCs and there is a lot of things you can do in it 
then I'm okay with its price, but currently I'm not so sure Bethesda can deliver it, but I still trust them and we will just have to see how it works out. Now I hope that the rest of the DLCs will be better than first to mention, and I hope that Bethesda will only create huge story DLCs from now on, since I'm a bit afraid that they will turn settlement system into sims and just sell a bunch of new decorations and items for money. Now that I told you my opinion about the season pass, I also wanted to address a few arguments that I saw that defend Bethesda's new plan. Of course the most common one is if you don't like it, don't buy it, and that is exactly what I'm doing at the moment, I just wanted to express my feeling towards the season pass. Then there are people saying that I should not buy it from official sites and instead buy it cheaper than a key site, that however does not solve the problem of its price and by buying it even at cheaper price I will just agree with Bethesda's price policy and I don't intend to do that. Another suggestion I saw is to only buy DLCs you like, which is actually a pretty good one, but I think that current DLCs are a bit overpriced for Far Harbor and possibly Automatron. Then another good argument I saw are people that are saying that they are putting a lot more work into these DLCs and that is why they are increasing its price and that other companies offer a lot less for that type of money. Well, currently we don't have any proof that the season pass will be worth 50 bucks. First three DLCs are maybe possibly worth the $30 they originally asked for, but nowhere near $50, which means you're basically buying cat in a bag and you have no idea what you're gonna get for the rest of your money. Personally, I think that Bethesda should have created a clear plan for their DLCs before releasing a season pass, letting us know what sort of content can we expect if we do buy it. Uh, also, let's think about this. Base game has a price tag of $60, while season pass has a price tag of $50. Now, don't you think that is a bit too much? I mean, I spend at least 100 hours in Fallout 4 base game, and if you tell me that Bethesda can deliver at least 3 quarters of content they had in base game in this season pass, then I'm okay with it, but as we all know, DLC are usually overpriced and it looks like Bethesda is also adapting this tactic. Now again I have to mention CD Projekt and Witcher here, which I think are currently making a really fair deal. Like I mentioned the previous expansion only cost me $10 and I had a lot of fun with it. So I hope that other companies will also adapt this tactic and that we don't see more overpriced DLCs from now on. And I also think that paying $50, which is basically price of a whole new game, for currently just one quest expansion and two, for me personally, weak DLCs so far, is a bit unfair. Also, can you imagine if any other company like EA or Ubisoft did something like Bethesda did, increase price of season pass after they have been selling it for a few months, the outrage would be extreme and I don't think anyone would support them. So why are we allowing Bethesda to do this, just because they have better reputation than other companies? So just to sum this up, I would be okay with $50 price tag if Bethesda actually told us what we can expect from them in these DLCs, and of course if those DLCs would be worth the price. Currently I do not think season pass is worth $50, and at least Bethesda reveals what it contains or until they change its price, I won't be buying it. Of course this is just my opinion so feel free to post your own ones down in the comments and I will be glad to discuss this topic with you guys. Also if you notice that I sound a bit weird, I actually created a script for this video because I'm currently not in best conditions to record, I also have to be quiet and I also don't have time to be just recording for one hour like I usually do, so that's why I sound a bit different in this video and I hope you're okay with that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, tell me what you think about it in the comments, subscribe for more Fallout 4 content and I will see you next time.